Bye. Come on. Trap done. Trap done. Trap done. Trap done. Good boy. Good boy. And walk. It's another morning out here at the farm. It's uh, Tuesday, so this weekend is our greater dressage and um, little mini marathon events out at Kiki Domain, which is only about 10 minutes away from here, so nice and close. But the weather, oh my god, the weather has been terrible. We had lightning and thunder on, on Sunday. Um, just atrocious, so I haven't really been able to get the work into the boys that I'd like to. I did get Teddy worked on Sunday and it didn't go well. So I don't know what I'm going to do in that respect. Um, I don't know whether it was just a one-off because of the weather or, or what. But I, um, I'll i give him another go. But if I can't safely um, drive him myself, then I'm not willing to kind of say that he's fine for anyone else. Because that's, that's just... Um, not fear on anyone and I've tried all the tricks in the book at this point to try and get him used to it but I'll keep on persisting but there has to be a point where I go no he's actually happier doing the job that he knows and loves um, at the kids cart track so it's a tough call to make to say no a pony's not going to make it in the uh, harness world because you do feel like a bit of a failure um, We've had to say no, this pony's not going to make it lots and lots of times, probably more times than we've said yes, this pony is going to make it. Um, we've had some beautiful horses that we've tried to break to harness and, and they just weren't made made for this game. So <clears throat> I'll, give, I'll, I'll keep persisting, but ultimately at the end of the day, if he's not safe for me, then he's obviously not going to be safe for another novice driver or an older uh, driver and um, I won't put anyone in that position. And it's it's made doubly hard because I know that he loves, I, I've watched the videos, I know he loves kids carts. And everybody kind of thinks that the kids carts transition to the um, carriage driving competition world should be fairly easy. Um, but it's not because we're asking a whole different set of skills from the horses. We're, we, we're asking much different things of our horses. Um, there have been some ponies that have made the transition quite successfully, but a lot of the time they don't. So I always knew that coming into this. I always knew there was the possibility that he wouldn't um, enjoy this type of driving. Um, top weight risk coming in but anyway onwards and upwards go work Henry first in the fog and followed by Bo oh, the other thing about the weather is you'll see on the video the grass is so long and dad can't cut silage because it's raining every single day so You'll see that there's some silage down that's gone yellow. That's kind of a write-off because we cut it in, a, I guess, hope that we'd be able to bail it. But nope. But anyway, let's do this. But you can hear the amount of rain that we've had, you can hear it under my wheels. And this is a fairly um, fast draining paddock. Like this is where we normally have everyone park for horse events. Um, 
because it is a fast draining paddock so if it does rain it, it kind of doesn't bog up so people don't get stuck but it just means that we can't get any real work into the horses on a consistent basis because well we could if we were prepared to work them and thunder and lightning and um, heavy heavy rain but I also have a uh, job to run a business to run I should say and a uh, family to keep fed, watered and housed so I can't go be getting sick all the time <coughs> which I have a tendency to do if I'm out in the rain a lot Walk on Henry Henry, come on. Henry, I'm not going to get um, Henry too hot and sweaty today because this afternoon it's meant to be uh, lightning and shower, uh, lightning and thunder again. Henry, and I don't know when that front is meant to be coming through. I don't really want them wet under their covers when that happens because uh, wet under their covers with the rain coming down cannot be very pleasant for them so just a gentle workout today nothing too strenuous it's just that they haven't been in the gig for three or four days now so come on Henry Henry doesn't really matter but I will be a bit fresh. Hi. Welcome. Good boy. Welcome. Good boy. Welcome. Change bow. Wow, boy, steady. You're right. You're right. Good boy, try it on. Change this way. Drop them. Drop them. Both. Good boy. Steady. Step out. Trot on boat. Trot on. Bye bye. Bozo. Come on, listen. Trot on. Good boy. Good boy. Now that calf is quite close to the fence. Just it might react. Not a good coffee. Okay, Bozo. Canter. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Bo, good boy. Come around. Steady. Steady. Good boy. Trucked on. Now, the only good thing about the rain is it leaves lovely puddles for us to practice in, eh, Bo? Come around. Good boy, radio. Trucked on. 
Go in the water. Go in the water. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Good boy. Walk on. Good boy. Walk on. Good boy, Bo. And trot on. Oh, good boy. That was a bit scary, wasn't it? Oh, look, it's a bunny. The paddock that we were just in. Steady. Steady, bud. Good boy. And walk, walk on. Walk. Should we give it another go? Got to go back through it now to get home. Come around. Gosh, look at that paddock. It's ready for silage like nothing else. <sighs> Good boy, boat. Okay. Good boy. Truck done. Careful for your species. Good boy. Good boy. Drop down. Straight bow. Straight bow. Drop down. Drop down. Drop down. Drop down. Come on. Drop down. Good boy. Good boy, steady. Come round. Righty -o. Come on. Trap on bow. Trap on bow. Trap on bow. Come on, straight. Good boy. Good boy. Trap on. Steady. Turn around here. Come around. Come around. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. Trap on. Bo, come on. Trap on, trap on, trap on. Trap on. Good boy. Good boy. And walk. Good boy. Where are you going? Oh boy. So a quick little update for those of you who have made it to the end of this video. As you can see, uh, Teddy has found his true calling. He's going to spend his retirement years, hopefully, as a little girl's uh, pony. So Sarah came and tried Teddy out at the farm. It all went well. And he has been looking after her like a gem of a pony ever since. So Sarah is getting on well with Teddy and I look forward to seeing what they can uh, do together. I'm really excited to be joining the Matt Pony Club and uh, I just think it's the best uh, outcome for everyone. Sarah's got herself a little awesome pony and Teddy has got herself a little wonderful girl.